Hello everyone, this is Campbell Lan and welcome to my vlog, A New Season. Okay, guys, I got some fun news. Anyway, oh, let's start with prayer. Father, in the name of Yeshua, thank you, God. Lord, I'm just reminded again about being so thankful. Thankful. And so, Father, I just want to thank you for your patience and for your faithfulness and for your love and for your mercy and for your goodness, God, and toward me and toward those that are watching, God, I just thank you, God, that you are faithful. And we just want to give you praise and glory today. B'Shem Yeshua, in the name of Yeshua. Amen. Oh my. You remember on the last video when my daughter was wanting to get her dress? You know, remember Hope Deferred and... <laughs> It's the holiday season, so it's like, oh my gosh. Well, it didn't come according to what the alerts were. So we ended up driving the hour, getting another dress, which was nice. And it was perfect for the occasion. And then guess what? We start back home and the other dress got delivered. <laughs> oh my goodness. And you know what? It was supposed to come a day later after the theater, but they got it there a day sooner. If we would have known that, we would have saved ourselves a trip, but it did come. The Lord answered our prayer, whether we... <laughs> oh my gosh. So now my daughter has two dresses. But So she wore the one that came in the mail. And we went to the theater and we saw Matthew... And his, both his children were in it, too. It was awesome. And we were able to talk to him a little bit after. And it was just so good to see him again. If you guys don't know, Matthew Lowell and his wife Tiffany and myself, we all did podcasts together in Colorado. And so Matthew now has moved back here to the East Coast because he's from the East Coast. And he is doing theater and things that he loves and so since I'm over here in North Carolina now, I get to see him once in a while, which is awesome. But it looks like we're going to be moving back west. <laughs> oh my gosh. But you know what, guys? Oh, listen to this. This is so awesome. I just want to encourage you, you know, when God hears our prayers, he wants to answer them, but he wants to answer them where they're better than what we expect. And so, my birthday was December 8th. Happy birthday to me! Oh my goodness. And, uh, and I just remember praying, God, could you just give me something wonderful for my birthday? You give me something, because you give good gifts, and I want something wonderful that you give me. And then nothing seemed to happen, and I'm going... Well, God, thank you for just another year. It's like you're closer to you, and thank you that you're getting me through things and that you've got a plan for my life. So, so uh, you know, I just kind of waited a few days. And then I talked to a friend of mine in Colorado, and she lives in Pagosa Springs, where I used to live. And we were talking, and we're talking about me going back to Pagosa Springs. Yes! This is the desires of my heart, guys. I can't even tell you how much I miss that little town since I've left, like in, I think it was October, around October of 2015. Ooh, about over four years ago now. It's been a long time. We were talking, and she says that Alan Hood has been called to Colorado. Now, Alan Hood is out of IHOP, the International House of Prayer, and he's worked with Mike Bickle for years and years. And he has been recently called to Colorado Springs. But in the meantime, he went down to Pagosa Springs and he spoke down there. And the pastor that's down there is out of IHOP, so they have a connection. So he invited him to come to church and preach. And he just shared about the calling that is on Colorado and the tie that there is to Israel. Oh my, I was so excited, man. I, I go, Lord, no wonder I am have my heart pulling me back to Colorado. 
And then I went on the website there at the church and listened to the last thing that they had posted on there. And I noticed the date. It was my birthday. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome, you guys. My birthday. I really believe that that was the gift that God gave me. And he was telling me and confirming to me that my time here is limited and that he's going to send me back to Colorado. Oh, hallelujah, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. That's so awesome. That's so awesome. <laughs> so, oh, I can't even say it without crying. That's so awesome. And then my daughter wants to look at New Mexico. So we're right next door. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yay! Oh, and I'm going to keep praying because we need the money to go and we need some open doors. But, oh, I just really felt that the Lord was saying, you know, I've got that desire in your heart for a reason. Hallelujah. So I just want to encourage you with that, guys, that when we delight ourselves in the Lord, that he will give us the desires of our heart. Amen. Oh, and that he doesn't want us to live in hope deferred. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I'm going to bless you. Yivarechacha Adonai v'yishmarecha. Ya'er Adonai panavalecha v'chunecha. Yisa Adonai panavalecha v'yasim lecha shalom. The Lord bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you shalom, his peace. Keep praying, guys. Don't give up. I've got to keep praying, too. It's not through yet, but boy, there's light at the end of the tunnel. And I feel encouraged, and that's what God wants to give you today. He wants to give you encouragement to hang on the things that you love and hang on the things that you desire and hang on the things that are your dreams because God wants to bring them to pass even more than you do in Yeshua's name. Have an awesome day, and we'll talk to you soon, guys. Shalom.